Hello everyone. It's Kim. I wanted to share some really powerful insights that came up with a private client I was working with that I think are pretty universal and certainly in this time, in this moment, um, are really, really essential to hear. We've been in this, um, let's call it economy, where we learn that our value is outside of ourselves. And whether it's for health and healing or for work, money, relationships, love, you know, we learn to like get the thing and it really is all a fear-based construct. It's not that we need to learn um, how to be in the true self, how to operate in truth, authenticity, um, prosperity. It's that we need to unlearn all the shit we learned that had us forget that. So many are suffering and so much of our own personal suffering comes when we are out of alignment with the true self, when we're not connected with our own authenticity. Um, and this is tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll be doing the live broadcast at 11 a.m. Mountain and speaking directly to this authenticity as medicine and how this literally heals everything. Get, getting back to that connection is like the only to do. It's the only to do. <laughs> the only thing on us is to surrender it to the higher self, the part of us that does know, the part of us that, you know, like the true self that is beyond you, that created your liver and your kidneys and your brain, knows how to heal your liver and your kidneys and brain and knows how to like create an amazing prosperous life and knows how to align with um, love and right partnership and right relationships for like everything you could ever ask for. And the big difference is, am I asking from the, the heart's desire of the true self or am I asking from the ego self? Um, so an exercise we could do is to look at like to go back into the authenticity is to look at like make a list of everything you want whether it's like the top three things or you go to 10 or 20 things, I want this to happen. I want this in my life. I want this to come in. I want to feel this. I want to do this. And then look at what's underneath that. Why do I want that? What is the feeling? What is the experience that is the core of that? And when you go back to that and then even get underneath that, well, why do I want that? And you get underneath that. You'll get to a point where the reason that thing, I want to have this thing in my life, so I feel more whole. At the end of the day, all of it is so that I feel more whole or more happy, you could say. But if we would just go to the authenticity, you always feel more whole when you're authentic, even if it's scary to be authentic, even if people are throwing things at you because they don't like it, it will always feel more whole. And so on the, on the broadcast tomorrow, I'll share more on this, but um, one of the things that came up in the session today um, with this amazing person was beginning to realize what prosperity comes when he was living in his true self and then get, getting like a little disconnected from it because it was like, I'm not sure, was that just luck? Why did this happen? Did I really make that happen? The small self doesn't make anything happen. It's surrendering to the higher self, connecting in the oneness and allowing the authenticity, which can be scary, which will always create greater prosperity. And so the thing I wanted to share in this video today is, is the true economy in, in, a, in an awakened world, which is what we're stepping into, we understand that the only value is authenticity. Like the only real is the authentic, right? That's real. Everything else is inauthentic. It's not real. So even if I like buy this thing and I'm like, oh, I'm going to wear, okay, I have this nice, beautiful watch. I'm going to wear this watch and it's going to make me feel better about myself. And, oh, I'm so happy I have this watch. It's always going to be limited. Like you're going to feel better and then you're going to all your self-doubt or in, in ad, adequacy is going to seep right back up. And then you need like another watch or another thing or a better life or a better whatever. When it's inauthentic, it's not like going to last. It's not going to be uh, the true fulfillment. So, you know, why, why buy the watch? So what if I, from my wholeness, 
I love myself fully and from my wholeness, then there's joy. Oh, I want to do that. Yeah, have it. Oh, I want to buy that. Great, buy it. Then it's the cherry on top, right? I love myself fully and it's, I love wearing this watch. It's, it's fun. It, you know, it's, it's whatever it is to me. Now it can be a reminder, but it's not the cake. Like it can be the frosting on top of the cake, but it's not the cake. And so the essential thing right now, I think that we're all stepping into in so many different ways as the old systems fall away, which were very inauthentic, we're never going to bring wholeness. We're never going to create prosperity. Our financial system is based in lack. Never, ever could it create prosperity. So the best thing happening is like, it's falling away. Other things are created. Our medical system is based on, you know, hierarchy. You're broken. I'll fix you. But you never get whole. You never actually heal in that system. Um, our educational system, right, is completely based in separation, fear, and lack. Right? You're not okay, but let me teach you what to do. And if you do these things, you're going to get by. And it's a total denial of the connection with the self. So that's falling away. So the fallout is really what is, what's not really serving us is falling away. But what is truly serving us, it's already been created. What truly serves us in our wholeness is a system, um, a totally different system of exchange. And so the, the currency in the new world is authenticity, right? Like the more authentic you are, the more valuable you are to everyone. There are those individuals who are going to value that, who are going to learn from you, who are going to receive from you and your, your passion and your creation. Um, but everything that's inauthentic, we're going to start to see. Cause in the, and when we're asleep, we don't see when we're asleep. We're like, Oh, that looks good. That'll make me feel better. Let me go and do that. And then it's like, you deplete yourself trying to get the thing. Right. And how many of us, you know, I know a lot of young people who are like suicidal at the end of that education system who are at the top of the top of the top of that system a triple plus, and I want to kill myself. That can't be success, right? How did that system teach that person to disconnect with themselves? So they feel less whole and less whole, the more they excel in that system. What about a system that connects you with your wholeness and uh, 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 fosters that connection so that your passion and your creativity and whatever it is that makes you fully alive is what you um, harness and what you cultivate. And now what is the value in the world? And so every time we choose authenticity, even if authenticity looks like a mess, you are contributing. Every time you cultivate connection with your authenticity, you are of greater value in the world. You'll feel it. So someone disconnected watching this video is like, what the hell is she talking about? I don't know, some blonde girl, she's totally fluffy. Or people will say like, oh, you're talking about self-improvement. <clears throat> but someone who's connected, like you're feeling and sensing your body and your system as you watch this, you will feel the value. Period. End. You're going to feel lighter. You have moved into a higher space in yourself. You're going to feel, you're going to sense your wisdom more, not less. You're going to hear that wisdom more, not less. So the value um, created through this conversation is like infinite. But all it is, is like authenticity. So if I came in, was like, um, let me make a video. So then people will like me. So then I'll get this thing. And then I came on and be like bright and shiny. And I might say all the right things. But what would you feel in your body? Because your mind might be like, oh, yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'm going to do what she said. This is going to be good. But what did you actually step into? Did you actually step into greater wholeness? So if all I do is follow my own inspiration, <laughs> I'm going to go on and create a video, right? I don't know what time it's 943 mountain time. There's no like, the mind is not on board for this. I'm going to go, oh yeah, let's do that. Cool. What do I feel? Authenticity always comes from what I feel. I'm going to do what I feel is right. I'm going to do what I feel is light. This will always create more. And so if you're feeling and sensing and aware, you're going to be aware of that. It's true either way. It's true for every single person on the planet, whether they're watching this video or not, that the consciousness is rising through my following and inspiration. Even if you're not watching the video. But for those watching the video, it's like even more potent. And for those watching the video and you're connected in your body, you may feel higher than you've ever felt before in your life. You may feel more connected with truth than you've ever felt before in your life. 
that's a contribution. That's a value. And that's effortless. Effortless. It's effortless for me to show up this way because I love it. I feel amazing. Like all my cells are like, oh, we get to share this. We get to be this. Yeah, let's do this. That is value. So don't be surprised if a lot of the things you thought were valuable start to fall away. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Because we thought money was valuable. Money's like it's a piece of paper. It's monopoly money. It's fiat currency. Fiat currency means there's no actual value backing that piece of paper or that number on the digital screen. It's monopoly money. But in this reality, we've been trained to see it as value. So we're like, work our ass off. <gasps> I got money. Wait, do I actually feel more whole? Am I actually connected more with my authenticity? That's the question we should be asking. Everything that connects you more with your wholeness is, 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 is unthinkable value. And the true currency is your authenticity. Like you're gonna, you're gonna see it now. Like you step into it now. You do one thing that feels authentic. Even if it's like screaming out your fucking pain, you're gonna feel lighter. You are healing. You are more whole than you were a minute ago. This doesn't always look pretty, but it always um, elevates your frequency, elevates your consciousness, elevates your world, and contributes to your life. So do do one thing every day. You know, if you're going to start practicing, wait a minute, is this authentic? So you want to tune into what do I feel versus what do I think? I'll talk more on that tomorrow. <laughs> be yourself. Everyone else is taken. So tomorrow's broadcast will be 11 a.m. Mountain Time in uh, the Mind Body community in Facebook and in YouTube, Dr. Kim Duramo on YouTube. If you're uh, there, subscribe in YouTube. You can hit the bell so it alerts you when we come live. Um, I'm at drkimd.com if you'd like to tune in more to what we're doing. And we do have the Tapping Summit going on. This Saturday will be my talk in the Tapping World Summit, which is Nick Ortner's and Jessica Ortner's and all the Ortner's uh, annual summit for EFT tapping. And that's a great way to tap into your authenticity. You can't really like tap and stay inauthentic because you're going to be more aware of what you're feeling and what you're sensing. You're neutralizing the doubter. You're neutralizing the program that had you disconnect in the first place. So you're more aware, even if it's uncomfortable of like, whoa, I feel like heavy. Okay. So now you can choose differently right? It's going to be heavy to buy into the lie. Um, so I would highly recommend tuning into the Tapping Summit. It's free and you can purchase the series, which I would definitely recommend if it resonates with you, that you have all of the talks and there's like other bonuses they put in there. The link we have is drkimd.com forward slash tapping summit. Uh, or you can swipe up if you're in Instagram, you can swipe up on, it's in my bio. Uh, drkimd.com forward slash tapping summit. So you register and they'll give you access to each of the talks. Mine is on anxiety, tapping to release anxiety. So EFT tapping is just a, a gentle way to harmonize the body and sort of get the doubter out of the equation. So you're connected with the authenticity. It's so, so powerful. I've used it in my medical practice for many, many years with amazing results. I've used it personally for like everything for like over a decade. Um, and just found it to be really, really incredible. So I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, you can go to drkimd.com forward slash tapping summit to access that. It starts, it started uh, last night at 8 p.m. Eastern. So today, each one goes for a 24 hour period. So you'll have access now to like day one. And mine is on day five. It starts on the evening of day four. Anyway, it's uh, EFT tapping to resolve anxiety. So I'm really excited to share that resource as well. This will be a great way to become more authentic. But, you know, we're stepping into this new space. That is all it is. It's like, whoa, how do I have prosperity? How do I have love? How do I have health? How do I have wealth? And it's not all the shit we learned of what it takes, which is so hard. It's like, I got to scramble. I got to run the hamster wheel. Wait a minute. Is that authentic? Does that really bring me joy? No? Then stop doing it. I promise you. 
the mind is not going to like it because it's going to go, but if it's not doing it, everything's going to fall apart. Yeah, that's because you're buying into that truth, but it's a lie. Buying into the lie that your value is outside of you and you have to scamper and get it and be inauthentic, right? And deny your true nature, which is like, oh, I just want to take a nap. <laughs> I just want to be still. I just want to work half as much as I'm working and, and enjoy my work. Because you could love what you do, but if you overdo it, you can't, no matter what it is. I mean, if I put too much into my work, it's like I'm just ugh, exhausted. So wait a minute, what's authentic? Oh, I want to work three days a week. I want to, you know, um, not, I haven't done a lot of the things I used to do because I've gotten more authentic. So even though the mind's like, oh, you should do this. I have to go back again, again, again. Wait, what is true? Nope, I don't have energy for that. I'm, it's not a yes. It's not a 10 out of 10. I'm going to let that go. And there's friends that I've had. I'm like, I don't want to disappoint my friend, but I know that I know that is not authentic. I'm going to let that go. And more prosperity always shows up when we do. So that is my invitation for you. Um, find even just one way to be authentic today. Like tune in, set your alarm three times a day and ask like, what is it I truly, what's my heart's desire right now? And am I breathing that? Am I letting that in? Am I putting that in my, in my life? Am I playing with that even just in, 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 in imagination, right? Like to feel the joy of what that's like. Let your cells feel it and you will begin to receive it in your life. All right. I love you guys. I, I'm so excited that we are more and more evidence of this true world showing up or like just us stepping into that and seeing everything fall away right? Scampering. Oh, tell me what to do. Help me. Help me. Wait a minute. Where's my wholeness? Where's my source? I'm connected here and I always know and I always receive, right? We are children of spirit. <laughs> we are not children of like the government and we have to obey. We are sourced unconditionally. Connect back with that. You will see everything, everything change. And of course, healing in your body. You know, there's no disease more powerful than the power that runs through you. Open and allow it. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow for the broadcast. And I'm at drkimd.com if you want to subscribe to stay connected and receive more.